So here now, most trained Begonians know this frog by the sound it makes, but cannot properly identify it. This is a Kongola or Tongara frog. And it is the most abundant frog throughout the country. You could find it everywhere in Trinidad and Tobago, in savannas, swamps, near the beaches, even on mountaintops. You can see them in this grayish brown color or a light brown color to the side with the darkish brown color in the middle going down from the head going down to the back. Males have a distinct white line on their chin or that is also known as the vocal sac. Males are also generally a little bit smaller than females. The average size for them is around 1 inch. Their main food source is ants and termites, but they have been seen feeding on snails and isopods. They don't really have a breeding season, but will breed anytime the temperature is right or usually after rainfall. They will congregate and make a lot of noise and the females to a lady's foam nest which will have a couple hundred eggs in them. And the white foam nest can be found in puddles and bodies of water. Gallops, fishes, lizards, snakes and bats feed upon the Congola frog. The call of this frog is so popular in this country and well known they even made a calypso out of it. So I'm the wildlife master and until next time, blessings and bless out.